So every time I come back here to the islands, uh, to Oahu, Honolulu, where we used to live, um, I always make sure that I take a day, I go by myself, and I go visit all my old haunts. So today I went by, um, well, first I visited my grandfather and my grandmother's grave. Um, then I went by my old high school. Then I went by my old middle school and all the places I used to get in trouble, all the places I used to get arrested. Um, oh, that's where you got arrested for a check fraud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's where you got arrested for theft. Yes. Uh, that's where you got arrested twice for fighting. Yes, I did. Yes. Embarrassed the shit out of my family, by the, <laughs> by the way. Um, but I also make sure that I go by where we used to live. And um, I've been parked outside here on the street where we used to live in this neighborhood uh, for about an hour now, probably looking um, shady as all hell, like a creep in my Cadillac Escalade with very tinted windows. Somebody's gonna call the cops on me very soon. Um, but I'll show you where we used to live. Uh, it's a three-story apartment efficiency building and I live right there on the first floor. And I've been sitting out here for about an hour now, contemplative and um, writing down a whole bunch of notes because I'm weird that way. I like to write down my thoughts. And um, it's crazy because life is so ironic and so unpredictable. And um, that's the place where we were evicted from. And um, that's where we came home and there was an eviction notice on, on, the, uh, on the door and, and said, you gotta get your shit out of here. <laughs> you got like 24 hours or something. And we were forced to move off the island because uh, we couldn't afford to pay the rent. But the irony is, as I'm sitting here, like a creep, uh, every day when I used to leave this apartment uh, to either go to school or go do whatever, go get in trouble, or go to the gym, uh, right across the street from this little apartment efficiency building is a massive, gorgeous condominium building, uh, high rise. and. How's that for irony? So I used to walk out and, uh, you know, we were struggling at that time. I, I, I slept in a bedroom. It was a one bedroom efficiency. I slept in a bedroom. My parents slept on a pullout couch in the, uh, in the living room. And every day I used to walk out and I used to think, fuck man, I, it must be so cool to live in a place like that. I, I hope one day, you know, I could live in something like that or we could live in something like that. And now ironically years later, you know, I'm doing all right. But um, the point of this whole thing is, is if you are out there and you're struggling, and a lot of you are, and you're struggling to make ends meet, struggling to pay the rent, um, you know, when you go eat at a restaurant, you, you got to look at the prices first <laughs> before you actually look at the selections. Um, I know what it's like. I've been down that road and that shit is hard. It ain't easy. But I'm telling you that if you're going through it, um, Stay strong, have faith, keep pushing through. I've said this before and, and I'm living proof of it is that on the other side of your struggle is something good. On your other side of your struggle is something better. On, your other, on, your, on the other side of your struggle is, is, is some sort of success. So keep pushing through if you're struggling. And, um, and by the way, whoever lives in my apartment, I'm not gonna say what number it is because I don't wanna blow you guys up, but uh, in, in where we used to live or, or anywhere in this little building, if you're going through it, uh, stay strong, keep pushing through because again, on the other side is, is a little something better because I'm living proof of that because years later, I am sitting right outside your apartment uh, like a like a big creep. <laughs> I won't, now I'm going to eat my cheat meal. All right, stay strong if you're going through it. Life is funny and so unpredictable. It's a wonderful life.